Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Doxy here with another video for you guys today. <laughs> today, I'm going to get straight into the video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install better radiance and then better ELS reflection visuals. Okay, these are the finals. We actually had this one um, updated 17 hours ago. So, you know, it's supposed to be the newest version of this plugin. So, let's go ahead and get into it by installing better radiance final. Wait till the timer counts down and then your download will start. Alright, we're going to move that to the desktop. Then we're going to go back to our second link in the description, which is going to take us to better ELS reflections. And then what we're going to do from here is we are going to hit download this file. And then we're going to want the, the one that was updated January 1st, better ELS reflections.zip. This one here is um, considered an extra now. It's if you want them really, really bright. So just go ahead and hit download on the on the first one. Because in my opinion, the first one's still bright, so there's no real need to go that extra extent unless you have a lower end PC, I guess you could say, maybe. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and drag this uh, better ELS reflections to the desktop. All right, we can go ahead and close out of that window now. So what we are going to do is we are going to actually find our main game directory. So for Steam users, I will show you guys how to go there. And then for Epic Games and Rockstar, there will be a um, file path in the description showing you how to go ahead and get to your main game directory. So for Steam, let's go ahead and type in the search bar Steam. And then go ahead and open it. And then you're going to go to Library. And then from Library, you are going to right-click on Grand Theft Auto V. You are going to go to Manage or no, you're going to go to properties, and then you're going to go to um, installed files, and then browse on the size of the installation. So go ahead and hit browse here. All right, so inside of here, what we have is our main game directory. So if you go back to common, you should be able to see your um, backup. If you've been following my tutorials, you should have a backup here. So anyway, let's go ahead and decide of our main game directory, and we're just going to kind of sit here, and then we're going to go ahead and close out of Steam, and we're going to open our first download, which is Better Radiance. Go ahead and click on that, close out of this, um, any pop-ups, and then by the way, if you don't have WinRAR, like every video I do for LSPDFR, there will be a link in the bottom of the video showing you how to uh, install WinRAR. So, Better Radiance right here, we're going to go ahead and double-click on here. Recommended Taxis, Bust, and Subway brightness fix I'm gonna go over this on a different video so don't even bother installing this one because as of my knowledge um, this did not work for me so it probably won't work for you but I do have a fix for this so be looking out for another video following this video that will show you how to add in this uh, taxi fix okay guys let's go ahead and click on better radiance and then we have a we have a visual stat right here okay visual settings dot dat what we're going to do is go ahead and click on inst install readme. Inside of the install readme, we have a couple things going on here. So number one is make sure shader quality and post FX are on the highest setting in your Grand Theft Auto 5 graphic settings. What this means is you guys need to have that on ultra. Um, you could push it sometimes on, on very high, but I recommend you putting it on ultra. It's going to look 20 times better. You're going to also want to make sure that you follow this file path using OpenIV. So assuming that you guys already have OpenIV, if you've been following my tutorials, this is going to be a breeze for you guys. If you haven't, I highly recommend you guys starting from the beginning of my tutorials and then work your way through them until you get to this point. So OpenIV is what we use to go to our secret files in GTA. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go to this installation path using OpenIV. That's what I say. It's always important to read these readme, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do here is go to OpenIV, double-click on it, and wait till it pops up, and then we're going to click on Grand Theft Auto V. And then from here, what we are going to do is follow this file path. So we need to go to Mods. All right, then we need to go to Update. Then we need to go to Update.RPF. Then we need to go to common and then data. Okay, the same place we go to if we're going to put in a car pack, you know, to edit our DLC list. All right, so inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to move this visual settings dot dat into the folder. Okay, make sure edit mode's on. So click edit mode. 
Oh, by my edit mode was already on. And if you want to know how to make your edit mode stay on edit mode, just go ahead and click on tools. We are going to go to options. And then right here where it says um, default work mode, you're going to want to change that from read only to edit and then close. All right. And that will go ahead and make your open IV open in edit mode. So there you don't have to click this anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag this dat file right into the directory here. Okay. Right into our open IV. Boom. That's it. After we're done doing that, we're going to go ahead and close out of this file. Okay. We're going to click on better ELS reflections. Okay. Inside of here, we're going to click on better ELS reflections. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go and close out of open IV. We're going to open up our main game directory that we opened with steam. And then we are going to take this ELS.ini after we go into ELS pack default or no, I'm sorry. Right, right here in your main game. It should be, I do believe. Let's see. Let's read the readme. Yep. So you just drag this ELS file right into your main game directory. Okay. So like right in here, I already have it installed, but this is an updated version. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it over anyway, just like that we have replaced the file. So just like that, it's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the game and then I will show you guys what these lights look like in game. So bear with me here. We're going to go ahead and launch rage and I will see you guys when I'm in Grand Theft Auto. All right, guys, and it looks like we're loading back into Grand Theft Auto. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go ahead and open up our simple trainer once we spawn and then we're going to go on duty, make sure all that good stuff happens. And then we're going to see what these graphics look like. All right. I want to see what these, what these lights look like. Um, I've already had this installed, but this was an updated version. So I am just as new as you guys are as seeing to what this looks like updated, okay? So I'm very curious. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go ahead and press F3 on our keyboard so we can go ahead and open up our trainer. What we're going to do is we are going to then go ahead and scroll down until we find vehicle spawning. Then go to added vehicles menu. Then from here, we are going to look for a car we want to test. So I want to test the unmarked 20. So here we go. Let's see what these lights are looking like. Ah, them are, them are looking good. Yep, them, them look good. Radiance looks good. Bright, bright lights look pretty good to me. I want to see what they look like in the daytime. Because you might want to put a different one on if you don't like this one in the daytime. So let's go see what it looks like in the daytime. Let's change the time to noon. Yeah, I'd say this was this would be ideal. Um, looks pretty good in the daytime. Way better than what it would. And this is definitely what it would look like in the daytime. You know, if um, this is real life. This is perfect right here. I like this. So, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video, I will see you guys later.